So we're going to try to normalize muscle function, lengthen the muscles that need to be lengthened, strengthen the muscles that do, support the structures that need support, and in doing so, we're going to improve the lymphatics, the lymphatics clearance, we're going to reduce pain, because again, in terms of our pain mechanism, have you guys been reading up with the Neuroorthopaedic Institute? All right, so let me tell you a little bit about pain mechanisms. So what uh, Laura Mosley and David Butler have found, and if you ever look it up, they're very exciting presenters. Um, so there is a threshold in our body for which our body registers that things aren't quite in homeostasis. And so you might, I might tap your shoulder. And for a short while, it doesn't really hurt. Right? Visually, I've got a clue in my head what's happening. But if I kept doing that for a whole day, Perhaps those mechanoreceptors and pressure receptors in my shoulder might be a little bit overstimulated, at which point they will reach a threshold. And that threshold in my body will then send information to my thalamus. My thalamus will then talk to the brain and say, brain, we've got a lot of phone calls from this area in the body, lots of stimulation, what do you want us to do about it? And the brain will in interpret that information. We've got a visual information. It's my hand tapping myself. Um, we know that's going to stop and we can cognitively stop that. And so therefore, I may not assign a lot of pain to the area. Yeah. So it's the same thing with some of our chronic patients where the threshold for which pain is registered or if there's something wrong and therefore pain is produced by the brain is lowered. And so the brain sees that as a threat because this threshold for normal mechanical stimulus has been achieved and so the brain says okay well there's there, this could be threatening to the body and therefore I'll assign a bit of pain into the area to warn you as a patient to maybe do something about it in order to protect your tissue and your system okay so in cases of allodynia or chronic symptoms as we know when we can many of us treat what happens is the proprioceptive mechanism is somewhat depressed and we read that a lot in the research and so if that's depressed, can you see how that alters the registration of, and that threshold level? And so at an earlier point in time, the brain registers things as possibly being a threat to your body. So with kinesio tape, what we're going to try and do is normalise the mechanics locally. The threshold then isn't reached with the local stimulus. Therefore, there's no information being sent to the thalamus. Therefore, the brain does not have to try to figure it out and send pain messages to the area. And in doing so, we normalise the experience for the patient and manage the pain. Now, what's really interesting about pain, why it's so important, is in the world of research, who cares about pain? Pain's the most unreliable thing. But in the experience of your patient, it's probably the most important thing for them. And what we do know in the research is in the presence of pain, altered motor mechanics occur. You have altered motor control strategies. You have less strategies available to the system. So if we don't just treat the muscles and treat a normalization of the tissue function, what we can also do with the tape is just take over the area with light tension taping to address symptomatically the pain experience and therefore allow an opportunity for more movement in the system and thereby we can then execute greater rehabilitation strategies with less pain. Okay, so that's some of the reasons why we would use kinesio tape. 